Hey Canucks fans, I hope you are well. I'm here to break down all of the goals from the Vancouver Canucks 4-2 victory over the visiting Calgary Flames. Gotta admit, there's some pretty nice goals in this highlight package. So let's start us off and the Canucks get going really, really early. In fact, 48 seconds in. And I like this because every Canucks player touches the puck. It goes from Myers to Susie, Garland, PD, Hoaglander. Tick, tack, toe. Ho, ho! Let's get into it. Let's see why this goal is so nice. And it really starts in the Canucks zone where Myers knocks a Calgary Flames player off the puck, gets it up to Susie, and Susie does a nice pass right here off the boards to Garland, who does a great job playing it off you know, backwards, then turns around, makes sure he stays on side, keeps himself on side, and then now his head's up, his head's up, you have Hoaglander streaking to the net, and you go across to Petey, and look at how Hoaglander opens himself up, goes to the front of the net, and doesn't skate past the net, doesn't curl, just stands right there on his skates, and Petey gets it through this gap, backlands too slow, and then a nice little tip, he's got basically a third of the net, I think he gets it over Markstrom's uh, flailing stick there. So again, PD gets it through. Look at Backstrom too slow at Hoglander. Yeah, gets it up right there and over Markstrom. So some Swede on Swede crime there and a great start to the Vancouver Canucks for the Vancouver Canucks. 48 seconds in. A, a rare Hughes turnover here. It gets over from Kadri to Mirmanov and he makes makes a takes a good shot but DeSmith makes a good left pad save. Here we have some more, uh, here's the Canucks. Here's Hoaglander once again feeling it. Some confidence gets past the defenseman, comes in on Markstrom all alone, but Markstrom holds the post on the stick side and makes sure that Hoaglander doesn't get his second of the game. But Hoaglander is gonna get his second of the game right here. Some pretty bad play by the defense. Pedersen, a nice touch pass to Hoaglander. Fake, freeze, and backhand roof daddy. That's a pre some more sweet on sweet cri crime here. This was beautiful. Wait to see, no wonder PD is smiling. Marshall's wondering what's going on? How come this guy keeps scoring on me? So let's see how this play starts off. It starts off with, you see four Calgary Flames guys. This defensive makes a really bad play. I don't know what he, why he's pinching when he's got two teammates there. And now it looks like it's a two on O. Well, it kind of is, because the other Calgary guy is off to the side here. So PD makes sure he doesn't go offside, just pushes the puck ahead. And then he just kind of doesn't even go into play. He kind of lets, how do I do this thing? This guy's beaver tailing. Or beaver, is it beaver tail, beaver tail? No, it must be beaver tail. When he slaps his stick on the ice, tries to make, pretend it's Petey calling for it, but Hoglander's not going to fall for it. And Hoglander does the whole lift one leg up, freeze the goalie, pretend I'm going to shoot forehand. And then, whoop, that was a little bit too fast, got a little too excited. So let's see that one more time. There's the freeze. Then he brings it down, pretends he's going to go backhand, but then still does a quick look towards Markstrom. And then Markstrom still is extending his left pad, but... Hoglander does an excellent, maybe because the puck's rolling a bit, but does an excellent job of roofing the puck basically bar down. I don't think he had to make it that that close, but still, a beautiful play. Another good look right here. Freezes Markstrom that way, and then puts it onto his backhand. No, the, the puck is flat. It's just an amazing shot. I think it's a little risky if he tries to go around Markstrom's pad here. It looks like he's got a lot of room here, but I'm, I'm not sure he does. But look at that. Bar down. Pretty sick goal by Hoglander. 2-0 Vancouver. We see it one more time here. Here's a really good look at how high, yes, how high the puck goes on his backhand. Not an easy play. Minute and a half left in the second. I don't like the way the Canucks give up uh, late goals at the end of a period. But here is Rasmus Anderson. It looks like it's a it's a shot that DeSmith should have saved. But I, I think in this first replay in particular, you see that it might have gone off Carson Susie's stick. And that's why they, they kind of did that quick camera cut to him right here. So I think Miller gets caught flat-footed. So here's Miller, and there's Pod Colson. So Miller gets kind of caught in no man's land, but yeah, it becomes quickly a four on. Th well, you don't really count him. So it, I guess it's a three on three. But watch when Anderson shoots it. Watch Susie stick, and I think if you, I'm going to press uh, press go, press uh, play. It, I think it deflects off Susie stick. Watch this. Yeah, I'm almost positive. It, it looks like it's going towards the short side, and then it goes off a of Susie's stick, his blade, and then goes to the far side. That's why DeSmith didn't really react. Again, hard to see. Tough though, uh, not really DeSmith's fault. Nice goal by Anderson. But then look at this power play. Miller, then Suter digs it out. Sorry, who was it? It was Miller that digs it out. 
I should just watch it and see what happens. Hughes, back to Miller. Miller to Besser, one-timer, back to Miller. So it goes Hughes, Miller, Besser, then to Miller. And this was a nice insurance goal. Ends up being the game-winning goal because it's weird. It's three minutes left, and there's still two goals that happen after this. So there's the Calgary player exiting the box. So it's a Miller win. Then Suter digs it out in the corner there, gets it back to Hughes. And then the Canucks set up. So you have... So this is what they like. They like Miller going downhill. Petey's over here just off, off the side here. But it goes down to Besser. And Besser, I think, makes a really good play. I, he doesn't really look Pedersen off. Um, or maybe he does a little bit. I guess that's the whole point. But he, this Calgary defenseman still has to respect that pass. And then with this guy's stick on this way, it opens up this lane. I'm not sure. This guy has to have a stick here because of where Suter is. So Suter makes a really good play. You have this kind of um, box plus one. Uh, formation for the power play but because Suter's in the bumper this defenseman has to have a stick going this way and therefore it opens it up and then Miller just tees it up so he's got a nice it's not even a screen just a nice open shot you know he could try and do that slap pass but he, to Petey but he's trying to get through too many people he just slaps it right past Markstrom really really nice goal for JT Miller you see Bester once again and then a good shot over Markstrom's glove now it's 3-1 with that that's 90 points for Miller then it's empty net, and then Elias Lindholm just doesn't even worry about passing, just puts it in. Interesting, the Canucks had Pedersen, Lindholm, and Bluger all out there on the ice for this um, for, for this situation. I guess three centers just in case you, the first guy gets thrown out, and in case the second, the second guy gets thrown out, I guess. And of course, three of the more defensively minded forwards. But yeah, it's a good play here by Bluger rushing this play. And then you have Lindholm, pucks on end. Doesn't even think of corralling it or, or getting over to Petey. He just shoots it from uh, five feet inside his own blue line. It's a really good shot. It gets past that guy and right in the middle of the net. I'm sure a nice sigh of relief for Elias Lindholm scoring against his former team, battling maybe an upper, a bit of an upper body injury and to score. Calgary, though, scores with 18 seconds left. It's a shot, a block there, but it's a shot from Hanley that gets through. And when you look at the replay... No one's mad, at this, but I think DeSmith shot Juleson a quick look because I think Juleson took away DeSmith's eyesight. We'll see it on the couple of replays. This Calgary Flames fan just saying, I don't know if this, it's over or cut me off or I just want to get out of here and beat the traffic. I don't know. This, this Canucks fan is not, a, not um, amused at all. So let's see how this one goes in. The shot by Hanley. So that shot, oh, it's a block by DeSmith off his blocker. And then right there. So DeSmith can't look around this way. He's trying to look around uh, Juleson, but then it comes this way, and there. You can see Juleson gets out of the way, and then it finds this small piece of uh, real estate above Casey DeSmith's right shoulder. Here again, see, you can't even you can't even see what DeSmith sees, but all you see is Juleson's legs, and then, yeah, I'm almost certain that they're, they're DeSmith, I'm sure. <laughs> I would love to know what DeSmith is saying to Juleson, because you can tell. They're making eye contact. Neil's a mon skating in to make sure like nothing happens. That there's no brouhaha, but you can just kind of tell. I, I don't think they're they're gazing into each other's eyes in a good way. I, I'm sure Dismiss is shooting Jolson a look, and Jolson probably just skates away, looks away and says, "My bad." 18 seconds left, and the Calgary makes it 4-2. My favorite score. And here we go. The Canucks win their third straight game. They're now tied for the Pacific, uh, not not the Pacific Division. They're tied atop the. Um, entire NHL standings in the race for the President's Trophy, but a really, really strong win for the Vancouver Canucks. And they, they in winning three straight against Buffalo, Montreal, and Calgary, they beat three teams that they are supposed to beat. So Canucks fans, let me know your thoughts on my breakdown. I haven't done these in a while, so I hope you missed them and I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if I pointed out anything to you that you didn't pick up or is there something that I blatantly missed? Let me know in the comments down below. Shout out to my sponsors, Advanced Seed Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovalander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members for your support. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. On your way out, like, subscribe. You can leave a tip. You can become a member. You can upgrade your membership and leave a comment. What highlights stood out to you the most and why? Tomorrow, I hope you join me at 11 p.m. for my weekly Sunday night live stream, giving away another pair of tickets to a future Canucks game. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. God bless and go Canucks go.